Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to organize your desktop on Mac OS. So let's get straight into it. All right, so I myself, like many people I know, have a very cluttered desktop on my computer. Now, it can be just because of a few reasons. Like, oftentimes I'll just go, oh, I'll just save it to the desktop. It's an easy place I can save it to and then I can access it later. But then it sort of just sits there and then it builds up over time and then it just gets into an absolute mess. I then sometimes am moving things from different places and trying to you know, organize it in a sense, but then it just keeps getting really messy. This can happen no matter what computer you use, whether it's Windows, Mac, Linux, anything, you can always get a cluttered desktop. Now on this computer, it doesn't look too bad because uh, I, I very rarely use this user. Um, so it's only got my files and then my SSD, but I'm going to be adding some files to this and showing you how you can organize it on the computer so that you can uh, have it nice and clean on your desktop. So what we're going to do is to demonstrate this process, I've got a whole heap of things in my downloads folder, which is quite a mess at the moment. So I'm going to drag all the all of these things out onto the desktop. And we're just going to make a bit of a mess of it. And we will see what happens here. So we'll just keep dragging these out. like so, and we will drag them out and let it all organize itself like that. All right, so we've made a bit of a cluttered mess of the desktop. I can tell you my one looks a million times worse than this, but we'll just use this for an example today. Now, when you right click on the desktop, you have a number of different options. You obviously have a new folder option. We can get info, which will tell you the information about what's on your desktop, It'll say how much storage it's using up and the access and permissions and all that sort of stuff. And then obviously changing wallpaper is quite self-explanatory. But then in the bottom half of this section, we've got a lot of options about organizing the desktop here, which is what we're going to focus on today. So the first um, option that I'm going to showcase here is clicking use stacks. You'll see what happens when I click it here. So when I click use stacks, you can see that it's organized all my files on my desktop based on what category they're in. So external drives and apps um, will always remain outside of stacks as well as folders. So they'll always remain their own separate things. However, individual files on your computer can be categorized into stacks. For example, we've got a movie stack here. So if I click that, It'll expand them out and then it will move the other items on the desktop out of the way so that you can see your movies or whatever else it is. And then other is just going to be obviously any other files on the Mac that aren't related to any particular category. A big one here that's really helpful is when you have a lot of screenshots, by default, they save to the desktop. If you haven't changed that setting, um, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to know how to do that. But... Um, you can see here that um, if you had a lot of screenshots all over the desktop, it would actually allow you to put them all into a stack and make it work really nicely. So you can see that there. Now, if we turn off using stacks and it goes back into its mess here, you'll notice that when I'm moving around these icons, they're not really snapping to any sort of grid. Like they're sort of just all free moving. Unlike Windows, I can put them anywhere on the computer without anything sort of stacking or doing anything like that. So no matter how hard I try to try and put them, you know, all in a straight line down the right hand side and make it look all nice and neat, it's always going to look a little bit off. So um, this is a little bit of a rush job, but as much as I try, it's not going to snap and look nice. So what I can do if I, is if I move them all to where I want them to be, so I'll just drag them across here. 
And then what I can do is right click on the desktop and then click clean up. And you'll see that when I click clean up, they all organize themselves into uh, places that are actually snapped to the grid. So they're actually um, in the correct spots for um, what they're supposed to be. So it's all nice and ordered. So you can do that if you would like to just clean up a selection. However, an easier way to do it is to right click and then go sort by and then click snap to grid. That will mean it always snaps to a grid. So even if you're really struggling and you um, to get it all into a straight line and you don't want to have to click clean up every time, you can just turn on snap to grid and it will always snap to the grid layout so it's always neat and ordered. And that's something I always have turned on because it just makes it look so much nicer on the desktop. Now, if I right click and then go back to sort by, you'll see I have a lot of other options here. I can sort by name, kind, date last opened, date added, date modified, date created, size and tags. So that's all options there that I can sort by on the desktop. So then we've obviously got clean up. We can clean up by um, the name, kind, date modified, date created, size and tags. So if I clean up by the name, it will just sort it by the name there, date modified, things like that. But if you just have it on sort, sort by all the time, it'll always sort it by whatever you've set it to. So that makes it really easy. No matter what you do here, um, you can move it around, but it won't actually let you do it because it's not sorting by that correct method. And then what I can do is right click. I'll just go back to snap to grid for now because uh, that's my personal preference. And then right at the bottom, you can see show view options. If we click on that, you'll see we have a few different options here. Most of these I've already covered, but there's a few more advanced uh, options here as well. So we can stack by none, kind, date last, open, date added, date modified, date created, or tags. So that's how you can stack them. We can sort them by, as I said before, all those different options there. And obviously stacking is what I showed at the start and you can um, show, you can customize the stacking further than what the default presets are that I showed you earlier. Then you can also change the icon size. So by default, it's at 64 by 64, but you can customize this as much as you want. So you can go as big as 128 by 128 or as small as 16 by 16, all based on your personal preferences. So there's lots of customizability that is allowed there. And then we can also change the grid spacing. So by default, it's around the middle here, but I can make that larger or smaller depending on my preferences. So as big as that grid spacing and as small as that grid spacing. But I'll leave it at the middle for now so it looks uh, roughly correct and then I'll just clean it up so it sorts it all properly again. Um, just uh, get that all back into order so it looks a bit more acceptable. There we go. And then we can also change the text size um, as much as you want there just to base on your uh, how you would like to have it. You can change the label position from the bottom or to the right. So you may see some people with it on the right. I actually think that works okay as well. I'll um, leave it on the bottom now for, though, for now though as well. And then we can also see I can show the item pre uh, info. So if I turn that on, you'll see you know some of the resolutions, the sizes, things like that. And then I can also decide whether I want to show the icon preview. Uh, so if I turn that off, it'll just look generic. But if I turn it on, that actually shows some details about the item. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to customize the desktop on your macOS device and how to keep it organized and cluttered free uh, on your macOS device. And let me know in the comments below if you would like to see this same process for Windows because I'm more than happy to make that if you would like to see that. I can tell you I've learned a lot in this process about keeping my desktop organized and good ways that I can go about um, customizing it and making sure it is as clutter free as possible. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in organizing your desktop on your macOS device. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.